Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92 here. So I returned from my trip to, uh, in South Carolina and uh, look what's waiting for me. Yep, that's the, uh, that's the sister-in-law's Honda. She said that uh, it's got some kind of running problem, so uh, let's uh, see if we can figure out what it is and see if we can fix it. So let's see what happens here. So we got to check engine light. I don't know why her wipers are on. She said it felt like it was going to stall out. Well, let's hook the scanner up to it and see what we got. Okay, so I've got my uh, snap-on scanner hooked up and I've got uh, it set on the um, generic OBD2 because I don't have uh, Asian software for this 2004 model car. So, uh, anyway, I have a fault code here, P0304, cylinder number 4 misfire detected. So, from uh, what I work on, I would have to say that uh, either it's a coil, um, a plug, it could be an ejector, or, um, or an ECU. So, I think maybe what I'll do is, um, I'm not really sure when the last time this car actually had any sort of tune-up work done, so... Uh, what I'll do is let me see what it looks like under the hood here and uh, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll move the plug to one cylinder and the coil to another cylinder and, and see what happens so let's uh, let's get you set up all right so first thing I'm gonna do is gonna take this uh, intake manifold cover off it's, uh, it's held on with a couple of uh, four 10 millimeter bolts looks like So, like I said, we got that cover off. Um, I just uh, called out to my buddy Roger to uh, find out where cylinder number four is because uh, on a V6 it could be in any number of places. So, we've determined that it's four, five, six. So, we're going to pull these three coils out and we're going to put the number four spark plug in, I guess, number five. And we're going to put the number five coil in number six. So it's just a six millimeter. Of course, the plugs look really crappy. Maybe I'll consider getting a new set of plugs for it. The ones in the back look like a real pain in the ass to change, though. But not as bad as some cars I've worked on, that's for sure. I can already have a good guess of what's going on. A lot of moisture on this. And of course, it looks like the valve cover is leaking. So a lot of other cars do that too. Wonder. Kind of strange. 
really wet in there. I wonder if she went through a puddle or something and got these uh, coils wet. Let's see what this one looks like. New compared to the rest of them. Okay, so that's six, that's four, and number five does not want to come out. Oh boy. Might have to roll this motor. Oh, there we go. This one's not wet, and this one is, and there's, feels like the rest of the boot is down in there, so let me get some stuff and see if I can fish that out. Alright, so this is good. So I got the, uh, the boot out of there, and I stuck my socket down in here, and look at this. this freaking plug is finger tight. more water of course. So these are a platinum tip plug MGK and of course it looks like it's been burning like crap because I think it's just been shortened out because of that water in there. Let's see what, we, what happens with this plug. Oh good that one's finger tight too. See the burn on this one is much nicer. Right. Let's see if we can go for a hat trick of loose spark plugs. Nope. That might explain. Why it looks like we have all this nastiness in these three, these two holes here. Yeah, it's still not that tight. Nobody takes pride in their work anymore. Okay, so we got cylinder six. Looks beautiful. Cylinder five, it's kind of crappy. Cylinder four looks definitely crappy from the plugs being loose. I hope those threads aren't hammered up. All right, anyway, so I'm going to clean these plugs off. I'm going to put cylinder uh, plug four into cylinder six, and I'm going to put coil five, four into cylinder five. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll put you back on in a minute. All right, so I've cleaned up the plugs a bit. So we've got plug number six going into cylinder number two. Excuse me, cylinder number four. Okay. Now I'm just going to run these in hand tight for now, and I have a special torque adapter I'm going to use so we can at least torque these things to around where they're supposed to be. And cylinder number five is going to stay the same. Cylinder six gets plug four. Kind of guessing and hoping that this plug is just going to go away on its own because of the moisture that was in there. 
I called her up and she said that she hasn't gone through any puddles and I really don't see much water up here so or staining so it didn't. So maybe it's just for condensation over time and the fact that the uh, plug was chuffing in and out. So, uh, let me go get my torque adapter. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my uh, torque limiting socket here. It has a cam inside of it. And basically what it does is when you get to 30 Newton meters, it'll just spin free or you know, just ratchet over. Now, put our coils back in. So this is the coil from five. And that's the coil from four. I actually glued the, uh, the end of the boot back on with some silicone. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going we're to clear these codes. Clear emissions related data. Yes. Diagnostic data has been diagnostic data has been cleared. Plus yes, no to continue. Okay. Check engine lights off. Well, she seems to be running all right right now, so uh, I think what I'll do is I'll throw these covers back on. I'll take it for a buzz around the block, and if it looks good, I'll tell Amy to come pick it up and uh, see if the light comes back on. So, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching.